so this video is going to be another installment in the series for beginners. And I was going to take you and show you this hooked up in my fish room, but it's not the clearest view of it. And so I think just inputting pictures over here would be a better option. Um, what I'm going to do real quick because it's something that is, this is something that's overlooked quite a bit that people think that they can get by without. They don't think about, but it can be very devastating uh, if they need it and don't have it. And what I'm talking about there is a check valve. So a lot of us have air driven filters like a sponge filter, a box filter. Or we have an air stone just to give a little extra aeration. Or uh, maybe we've got a little decoration like a, a treasure chest that the top opens and closes with air. We have something where an airline is going into air tank from an air pump that's sitting on the stand, on the floor, wherever. Pumping air up the airline tubing and into our tank. And it's all fine. Air is going in, making bubbles, running our filter, running our decorations, whatever it's doing. It's all fine until the electric goes out. And then as the air pump isn't, per, isn't pushing air through the tubing anymore, the water pressure will be pressing water back up the tube. And if your airline comes out of your tank and goes down, all that water pressure has to do is get that water to the top of the tank, which is very easy because it's just lost the air pressure. And as the air pressure is lost, it will return to the least, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The least resistance, which we back down towards the air pump. So as the pressure reduces on the air and it travels back down the tubing towards the pump, it will, in a way, create a vacuum in the tubing and the water pressure is pressing up at the same time. So you get a surge of water up to the, to the rim of the tank. That's all it takes. If you saw my video on how not to suck, as far as uh, starting a siphon to do uh, water changes, all you know is, or all you have to do, as you know, is get the water to the top of the tank and let gravity do the rest. So if you don't have a check valve and your power goes out on your air pump, your water will go up your airline tubing and out of your tank. So how does a check valve help this or prevent this? It's, all you have to do is put a check valve. It's a small little device in line of your airline. So you cut your airline, you put the check valve, you connect the check valve to both ends of your airline in there, make sure you're in the correct direction because if you're doing the opposite direction, then your airline won't work. But usually there's an arrow indicating which is the correct direction. If there's not, you can blow on one end and see if the air comes out the other end of the check valve. Um, because what a check valve does is, is it allows flow in only one direction and you will want flow of airflow from your air pump into your tank. And by putting the uh, one directional air valve, uh, check valve in line there with uh, allowing air to go from your pump into your tank, it will stop water flow from going from your tank to your air pump. If you didn't have the check valve there and say you've got the, uh, uh, let's go with a little the little uh, treasure chest bubbling its little lid, just happy as can be in your tank. Well, your airline for it more than likely is plugged into the bottom of the uh, treasure chest, which is setting on the substrate. So when your air pump goes out, the airline will start siphoning your tank. And the airline is plugged into the treasure chest, which is setting on the bottom of your tank. So if you don't have the check valve in your you're siphoning your tank to the bottom of your tank and you don't realize it, it will completely empty your tank. Well, down to the bottom of your treasure chest. So you might have something left in your substrate. And the same thing would happen if it's just an air stone 
or a uh, an air driven filter like a box filter or a sponge filter down to wherever your air line is you're siphoning to that point so for the safety of not flooding your house your fish room or wherever your fish tanks are and for the safety of your fish put some check valves in they don't cost that much uh, you can get them real cheap at Amazon Walmart carries them probably uh, your local fish store is a great place to get them You know, it'll, it'll save a lot of headache to put a little, a cheap little check valve in your airline. And that wraps it up for this video. Uh, leave comments below if you've ever had a misfortune with the lack thereof of, an, of a, if you've ever had a misfortune with the lack of an, a check valve in your airlines. Um, or if you've ever had air uh, check valve save the day, um, leave me a comment as well. If you like what I'm doing here, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't really enjoy it, you can give me a thumbs down. I'm okay with that. It helps me to know uh, what type of stuff you all like. This beginner series here, um, we're talking about stuff for beginners that aren't really addressed in other channels and other videos. Uh, that will help people get started in the hobby. So uh, that's where we're going with this video. If you haven't subscribed already and you'd like to see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button. The little notification bell beside of it will tell you when I've not will notify you when I have uh, uploaded some stuff. And if you uh, really like the stuff that I'm putting out here, if you think that someone else would like it. There's a share button up there that will allow you to share this with your friends, your family, your coworkers, whoever you want. And the more people that we can get over here, uh, we can talk about fish, we can share the fish hobby, and the more people get in the fish hobby, the bigger fish parties we can have. And uh, well, until next time, we'll see you.